Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another R10 Odyssey video. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to get Sunken Treasure. As you guys can see, I do have the Sunken Sword currently. Um, but yeah, pretty much this video will just be the fastest method to actually obtain Sunken Treasure. Um, but yeah, before we get into the video, like to subscribe. My current goal is 1,500 subs right at the end of the month. If we can do that, I really appreciate it. But yeah, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need that I highly recommend is obviously a fishing pole. There's quite a few ones that I recommend getting. But the main one that I highly recommend getting is anything with that magnetic um, enchantment on it. But your best bets of having the highest chance of actually obtaining sunken treasure is going to be a magnetic collector's rod. Um, I currently don't really know a way to get this uh, rod. I just traded for it, but I'm sure there's videos on YouTube. And if I find out a way, I will make a video on it um, in a few days probably. But yeah, pretty much you just get the collector's rod and then you put the magnetic enchant onto it. And then that's pretty much how you get Sunken Treasure. Sunken Treasure is 1 out of 8,000 for every single piece to obtain the whole set. Or it's 1,200 per thing. You're guaranteed Sunken Treasure out of 1 in 3,000 chance. Because there is pity for it after 3,000 fish or uh, catches. So yeah. After 3,000 catches, you are guaranteed to get a piece of Sunken Treasure. But it's not guaranteed to, be, to, it's not guaranteed to be the sword. The sword is the one that you want to be going for though it has the highest trade value pretty much throughout the whole game other than the headless seasonal so yeah if you get the sunken treasure you can pretty much trade it for pretty much anything in the game but now i'll be showing you guys what the weapon actually does but yeah the main reason why this weapon is so good is because it has the soaked effect which is makes it really good for ice builds and lightning builds there are certain builds that it's actually really not that good for like a wind build because it actually reduces the effect of the um Sunken Sword. But yeah, I'll just be showing you guys what the moves are. It has two moves. One is like an up tilt type move, which is Rising Tide, which looks like this. So yeah, it pretty much goes up 132 damage for 150 into weapon. And then the other. And yeah, the second move is Tiger Rush, which is pretty much just a normal uh, M1 combo type move. Um, but yeah, that's, this is that. So it looks like this, and it does a lot of damage. And then you knock him up, and then you can actually do the Q move into it if you're fast enough. And then yeah, that's pretty much a combo. Um... But yeah, if you get this weapon, I know it's really hard to get, but if you get this weapon, I do recommend you use it. Uh, the only builds that I don't recommend you use it on is one where it actually reduces the effects. The only one that I know as of currently is a wind build, because I know it does reduce the effects of wind. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how to get Sunken Treasure um, and the showcase of the Sunken Sword. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. My current goal is 1,500 subs. I will have Discords linked down below if you want to join those and get more active in the community. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.